Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. So what type of we are going to do some prediction with Tableau CRM earlier Einstein analytics. So what are you waiting for? If you have just got one email ID, that's enough for you to start from the start to the end. So you will get to know how to get access to Tableau CRM for free, how to create a Tableau CRM data set because your visualization or the prediction will be based on a sort of data set, right? We'll be using sample superstore, your favorite one. How to create a story, then how to read the story and how to read the insight. So let's get started. Prediction and story with Tableau CRM. So what do you see over there? We can You can connect to any data. It can be Salesforce data or external data. After that, once you connect, we'll create a story. We'll explore, we will visualize, we will predict. And at the end, we are not going to share the story uh, that is out of the scope but we are going to do a lot of the stuff right from the scratch. First thing first, how to get the Tableau CRM access. So I'll try to, I'll make ensure that you get this link at the YouTube description. And remember, uh, this will be at your YouTube description and ensure that you are going to register here only because what I'm saying, why I'm saying like that, for this trial, you cannot use an existing developer edition org instead sign up for this special tableau crm enabled edition so that's why it comes provi provisions with the tableau crm plus license required for einstein discovery so that's why remember this link that will be at the youtube description here you go again remember the link So once you have registered, just log in with your username and password. And after that, ensure that you are under Tableau CRM Analytics Studio. So here is the app. With that app, you should be able to select Tableau Analytics Studio, All right? Now we are at this position where we need to create the data set, right? And the data set that you will be using over here is the same, your favorite data source that is the Sample Superstore. If you're not aware about your Sample Superstore, it's all about like Amazon, where you have order ID, you are ordering from somewhere, from any part of this world. And after that, you have order date, ship date, customer ID, segment. You have profit discount. This will be the part of your measures over there along with the sales as well. So before creating the story, we should have the data set to our environment. It's very simple. Couple of steps uh, should be simple for you. So ensure that you are under Tableau CRM Analytics Studio. After that, on the right hand side, create. I'm going to create the data set CSV file. So in this case, we are connecting to an external file. If I just go back, this is the data set name and this is the app. Uh, I will be using my pri private app over there. You have different apps, right? So I'm I'm not I don't want to go to shared app because everybody can see that. So I go with my private app. Okay, next. Okay, low ID. Like if you remember, like Tableau, it will uh, automatically give the uh, data type on its own. Here we go profit profit and everything it looks fine and after that upload the file and here you go it will take a while not more than um, 20 30 seconds depends upon the size of your data set for sure here we have around 10,000 rows that's cute the way mr einstein data set was created that's it data set is created now we need to create our story. I go to the create a story. Okay, select column. I want to analyze, say, I want to maximize my, say, profit. Okay, I want to maximize it. Sample Superstore, students, my private app, story type, insight only. So there you have got two options, like quickly find descriptive descriptive and insight and evaluate whether your data is ready to create a predictive model. The other one is a little higher level or say a little complex level where you have model creation can take a while. It will take some time. Einstein recommends using this after you have verified the data is ready for modeling. So for this case, we'll go with the insight only for the faster analytics. So you have two options. If you are quite sure that what you have to manually select, what all fields that you need to select, 
uh, or if you are not sure then you can go with the automated uh, option over there so let's try instant do this for this time okay Einstein in the lab crunching numbers so let I can't wait come on come on come on fast here you go we got this story we, we have already got this story here so while we created the story we told Einstein that we have to concentrate so here we want to maximize the profit on the other side Einstein will give, give you the insightful analysis based on this variable so how this variable is related to the other variables that you have in your data set so you get different insights with the um, Tableau CRM analytics with the story like descriptive, comparative, diagnostic, prediction and improvement will uh, analyze one by one each and every one over there. So the first page that you see at your story page, it's all about descriptive insight where you'll have explanatory variables, correlation with the outcome. outcome. So what is the outcome? How can I maximize my profit? So you can see the correlated variables over there in the descending order of correlation. So subcategory is number one ranked as far as correlation with the outcome. That is how can I maximize my profit? So let's go to the live data set. So here you can the descriptive insight. You can see the correlation of variables over there where subcategory is being at the top followed following by discount sales and state. Right. Also, uh, these are quite insightful updates over there. For example, when is profit highest? For example, subcategory is copiers, right? So that means, so copiers quite profitable. So this is descriptive, but I want to drill down, right? And here we can talk more about the, so I repeat, I go to the particular variable and you can see these are all in descending order with respect to the correlation. I want to drill down on subcategory. I will choose that particular subcategory, copiers. Okay, because they were talking about copiers. Boom. So here from the descriptive mode, let's go to the one level down and drill down and say now we are in the diagnostic mode. So it means if copiers is great, why it is great. So here you can see I'm there and I want to see the insight, right? Why does this do better? Okay, now here we have the waterfall model over there. So for example, here globally, you are giving more profit, right? Discount is 0 0.9 occurs 49% of their time globally, but it changes to 32.5%. It is when it is known the subcategory is copiers, and because of this, profit increases by 147.5. That means probably we need to drill down more into that. But as you can see over there, probably we are giving less discount to achieve more profit when it comes to copiers. And the other insight is for the order date 2019. 10 like October of 2019 occurs 2% of the time globally but it changes to 2.9% that means for the month or uh, month of October you are having more sales with respect to copiers so it can be something like you know you have more sales for cakes when it comes December last week of Christmas something like that so we talked about descriptive diagnostic what about comparative what how you can come so I do have comparing to option over there and I can compare it with any other subcategory to see that why it performs better than the other categories you know what are the insights as far as those comparisons are concerned over there for example for a particular city copiers performs much 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 the same order date is mentioned over here as well and you can see that there, there is no case where copiers falls behind book you can switch over to any other uh, variable like discount and again you can make the same analysis as i did for the subcategory you can compare that to some other buckets over there last but not the least let's talk about the prediction and model now uh, what are predictions how we can analyze a prediction and how we can improve uh, the model over there so from the inside i can switch over to prediction uh, prediction here you can see you have got the option to select a group to predict and so in our case we can see the these model feature uh, these are again in the same order of uh, the order of correlation with the outcome right th th these are in the same order subcategory discount sales in state so now if i instead of envelopes for there then so when i pick this one beside this there is a the radio button over there actionable items what what i need to do maybe instead of uh, this sub particular subcategory i can change subcategory to copiers to get more profit right so and and from where it is coming you can see at the bottom 
there are a few more charts over there here you can see cases when where subcategory can be changed to increase profit given that subcategory is this one and state is other so it's quite clearly you can see if i change my subcategory to copiers i will increase i can have increase in the profit now i'll go to the discount and i'll set a value uh, i've given this bucket if a discount is of order 0 to 0.19 here we can see the positive factor as well where discount is this range and subcategories discount is 0 0.0 to 0.19 and subcategory is envelope again we have some recommendation we can set subcategory to copiers to increase profit so i'll go and i'll try to follow that copiers and boom now i've got the increase in the profit increase in the positive factor as well over there right here as well so here you can analyze your prediction play with the variables over there and see what fits fit best to your model but then how this model is whether this model is good enough or not you go to model now now you see the r square that should be closer to one right now there are issues detected over there there are 13 data alerts over there so i will view all the alerts and now i'll try to improve my model like for example uncommonly large or small values in profit can affect the accuracy of your insight or prediction so do you want to exclude those outliers or not right it's not compulsory but you'll have to take decision on the basis of your and if the suggestions make sense to you city and other three variable are highly correlated yes because more or less all are location region postal code and state so it is recommended to consider one out of three or four to improve your model so you can pick one out of three or four for a discount also they have given the new they have recommended the new bucket so they for, for the suggested bucket you might get a improved outcome with respect to the uh, model so I'll try to apply some of the suggestions over there. For example, I would like to exclude region, exclude uh, postal code. Maybe I'll exclude city, I'll ignore the alert. And let us go with these uh, uh, recommendation and, and let us see what happens. Uh, now this, this is the way you can update your story. So that's how you try to increase the efficiency of model and try to bring that to the perfect prediction. And right now we have to do some work with respect to the same. And after that, And after that, you deploy this model to production with this deploy model option. So this was all about my first stint with the Tableau or Einstein analytics or say Tableau CRM now, formerly Einstein analytics. I hope this helps. And again, do uh, take a note of the links that are there at the YouTube description because it's free and you can also perform the same action that I have done today. So this is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data because data is data, what you want to do. Everything is data. Bye-bye.